Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to go over some of the features of the uh, Grandview ED 65mm spotting scope. There's a lot of uh, features that are a bit um, higher end than your average spotting scope, so I thought they, uh, they, they would be nice to take a closer look at. So let's get started. First off is the lens. It's a 65mm ED lens, and it's got a captive cap here like you can see, so it's not going to uh, uh, disappear on you in the field. The ED glass in the spawning scopes is designed to give you very good color correction and a very sharp image compared to a, a non-ED, non-extra low dispersion spawning scope. What happens is, especially at the higher magnification range, when you're looking at a, a target out there, let's say it's a, like a white sign against a different color background, the, the non-ED lenses will show some color fringing, some, some dispersion of the light in the red end and the blue end of the focus uh, of the wavelength. So you see basically a little purplish halo around the edges of the target. And that's basically some of the light out of focus. And so you've lost a little bit of sharpness and you're not getting the exact colors uh, that you normally would see out there. So an ED lens brings all of the wavelengths of light back to focus at the same point. So it doesn't give you that false color and you get a very sharp image because everything from red to blue is perfectly focused. Now I've been talking about focus, so let's talk about the uh, focus mechanism up on top. Your normal spawning scope or binocular has a single focus wheel that just adjusts the focus back and forth. That's this knob right here, one-to-one -one focus. But it's also got this fine focus wheel here, and there's a little reduction gear in there. So for every uh, nine turns of this, you get one turn of the big wheel. So you basically fine focus with the coarse focus here, and then you get the last little bit of sharpness out of the fine focus. Very good precision, precise control of the focus mechanism. That's one of my favorite features of this spotter. On the front is the eyepiece. It's a zoom eyepiece. It goes from 16 to 48 magnification. So you'd start with a 16 to get the wide field of view, and then you zoom in at 48. And it's got this compression lock here. You can pop it off, and it's a standard inch and a quarter diameter eyepiece. So any telescope uh, that uses inch and a quarter eyepieces, you can use that eyepiece for this spawning scope. So it uh, uh, gives you a wider world of, of uh, choices in eyepieces. Zooms are nice, you get a whole range from low to high power, but they're usually a little bit narrower field of view than a fixed wide angle eyepiece. So let's say uh, you like the zoom for the magnification range, but you wanted to get the biggest possible field of view at one magnification. Well, you could use, say, a uh, 24 millimeter eyepiece that has a 68 degree field of view and get a superbly wide field of view out of this. Um, very versatile. And then when it locks back down, it's a compression lock. So there's no set screw on the side to dig into the side of the eyepiece. It grabs it completely uh, from around the perimeter and keeps it snug, keeps it centered, and doesn't mar the eyepiece. The uh, spotting scope fits on any standard photo tripod. It's got a quarter 20 adapter down on the bottom. And if you look on the side here, there's a little lock knob. You can adjust the angle of the spotter from horizontal to vertical. So if you're standing behind it, you'd want to be looking this way. But if you're beside the spotter, you probably want to be doing this when you're looking at your target and looking through the spotter. So a nice way to adjust it. It comes with a case, and the case is quite nice because it's designed to fit around the spawning scope and then be used in the field while around the spawning scope. So there's a cutout on the bottom for the tripod. There's cutouts in the case in the front with Velcro to uh, um, uh, keep it closed. But you pop it off, you can use the spawning scope while in the case. There's a cutout on the top for the focuser and then the eyepiece. That basically will help you in the field if you're in inclement weather uh, or if you want to keep uh, scuffs and scratches off of the spotter while in use. Now, I said inclement weather. The, the scope itself is waterproof, as long as you're using the eyepiece that comes with it. So you don't have to worry about being in the rain. But the case, having it on there is just nice. It keeps it cleaner. So there you have it. This is the Orion Grandview 65mm ED spawning scope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.